What's up, cutie gang? It's me, Kiran, your friend from the internet. And you are watching Artifact, the cool stories of the cool stuff behind the scenes at Quantic Dream. And today's item is... Oh, 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 oh. Not here, because actually it wouldn't fit. Today's item is... Kara. And we are going to try to answer the question, is Kara a character or an idea? A symbolic embodiment of a philosophical reflection of what it means to be human. Whoa, it was very boring. Let's talk about the figurine itself, shall we? Because that's the cool story. This figurine of Kara is unique. Everything started with Thierry Prodom. He's our art director in charge of character design. It's not just a name I made up right now. And here is what you need to know about Thierry. First, in English, his name would be Terence or Terry. Not relevant, but accurate. A year before the release of Detroit Become Human, he was convinced that the character of Kara would become iconic. And he thought that making figurines, not just of Kara, but other Quantic Dream character, would be a good idea and actually a good gift for you guys, the fans. So he figured that the most efficient way to convince everyone would be to build a prototype. So he designed this beautiful Kara, and he asked a 3D printing company to well, 3D print it, I guess. And immediately the studio loved it. Actually, everybody loved it. Look at it. It's beautiful. And one thing leading to another, we even came up with a full-size one. An actual, real-life, one meter and 60 centimeter Kara statue. That was made for a special Detroit Become Human event in Paris. By the way, for you non-metric people, one meter and 60 centimeter is five feet two. And also, just use metric. Anyway, the full-size masterpiece is now on display in a special Detroit Become Human room at the Musée Grévin in Paris. It is the French Wax Museum, or Madame Tussaud in other countries. So right now you might be wondering, why don't we use metric and say Madame Tussaud everywhere? That would be so much easier. Why? Why? Well, that, I don't know. What I can tell you, though, is what inspired this very specific posture of Cara. Thierry used the original pose of Kara from the short film that inspired the game. It premiered in 2012 at the Game Developers Conference. And then he wanted to convey Kara's path to become human. That is why the pose is so gracious. A bit like me. And why her body is only partially covered with those type of plates. And to convey the fact that it's all about letting go, he made her look like she's levitating or falling depending on your interpretation. It's a little bit like the dress, is it white and gold or black and blue? Your choice. Yes, I made a Facebook meme reference in 2021. This OG figurine is also what inspired the one you can find in the collector's pack still available on the eShop. So just let me know for you, is Kara levitating or is she falling? Am I levitating or am I looking stupid? Tell me what you think in the comments. And also, would you like me to host this show looking like Hera? Please say no to that. See you next time, fam.